Matrices or arrays are widely used in numerical scripting to store the results of the simulation or post-process these results. For instance, each component of the electric field obtained from a field monitor is stored as a four-dimensional matrix, position x, y, z, and frequency f, even if the monitor is 2D or stores only one frequency point. In such case, it can be useful to remove the singletons using the pinch command. It can also be used to extract a submatrix by removing a specific dimension and selecting the index of the removed dimension. In this example, we remove the fourth dimension and select the second index of that dimension. If we don't specify the index of the removed dimension, the first index will be used. The mesh grid X and mesh grid Y will create a 2D mesh grid respectively in the x and y direction from two single column vectors. In this example, we use these functions to create an image of a 2D Gaussian function. Another useful function is the integrate function that will return the integral of a matrix over a specified dimension or a list of dimensions. In this example, we calculate the power flowing through a monitor R by integrating the pointing vector over the dimension of the monitor plane. We use the dot operator to access the elements of the dataset P, the pointing vector component PY, the X vector, and the frequency vector F. Integrals over singleton dimensions will return zero. In other words, the area under a single point is zero. If you use the integrate to function, the singleton dimensions will be ignored. It is possible to perform search operations on arrays. You can search for entries meeting some conditions using the find function. It will return the indices of the entries meeting that condition. The condition can be a specific value. In this example, it will return the index of m whose element is closest to 5e minus 6. Or you can search for entries meeting a more generic condition. In this example, we search for the values of n that are greater than 5 and lower or equal to 7. There are two elements, 6 and 7, that meet this condition, and the find command will return 7 and 8, the indices of these elements. You can search for local maxima using the find peaks function. Find peaks y, n will return the n largest peaks. In this example, we are searching for the first two local maxima of the array y. These two maxima are located at x equals 18.92 and x equals minus 15.76. You can also search for the peak of maximum value using find peaks. Here we are searching for the wavelength of maximum transmission. The maximum is found at 471.4 nanometer. Many other array functions are available. You can find all the information on the knowledge base.